You can wear them, trade them, and they come in dozens of different shapes. I like Ceridian because um, they're really fun. From princess shapes to rainforest animals, silly bands are the latest trend hitting schools, and everyone from kindergarten to high school is wearing them. Well, some people really like them because they like do these little tricks with their fingers, like they flip them around their fingers and do all these weird things, and they also like trade them, and they like try to collect some of the same kind, and they like all the different colors and shapes and stuff. We sold over 2,000. We're probably getting close to 3,000 now in that four or five month span. But the schools aren't as crazy about them. Silly bands are becoming so popular that some schools and teachers have started to ban them, including many here in Boulder. And we realized about a week and a half in the school that they were a distraction from what teachers were trying to do in the classroom. In gym, like, they're flinging around the room and some of the teachers don't care, like they don't notice, and some of the teachers really get aggravated. They're very distracting. Students will shoot them across the room or want to trade or they make odd things like necklaces out of them. Other schools are using them to teach kids discipline and respect. Her school used silly bands as a opportunity to kind of teach them what distraction is. And the school made a rule that they could have them on, but if they became distracted, they'd be taken away. But ban or no ban, the kids are snatching up the colorful bracelets. And it kind of makes you wonder, what happened to Pokemon? A lot of the fads before have been kind of toy based, say uh, Beanie Babies and Pokemon. Uh, so they have a limited lifetime. Whereas, you know, those kids grow up, those toys start to grow up. Uh, they'll probably stick around a little bit longer. And imagine we'll be seeing them in a while. But just maybe not in schools. My classroom, the policy is if they're off their wrist, they're on my wrist. Kylie Burse, News Team Boulder.